Hi there. Well, something scary happened today when I decided to test my vintage Pyrex bowls for lead. I've stated repeatedly that cast iron cookware from both the United States and China do not contain lead, and I'm still stating that. I also know about a person who manages a website and YouTube channel with the name of Lead Safe Mama. She's made a career for herself with her crusade to discover lead in common, everyday household items and bring this to our attention. Even she said that cast iron cookware doesn't contain lead, though I am skeptical about some of the things she's written about Le Creuset cast iron. But I've been proud to own and use these vintage Pyrex bowls in a number of my videos, and I have to admit, I was concerned when I saw a video and a page on her website where she takes a vintage Pyrex bowl, exactly like this, and uses a lead paint test to reveal lead residue. So I did the same test on this vintage Pyrex bowl to see what would happen. Now well, here we are again with the 3M lead paint test, or surface lead check as it says, which has two uh, vials of chemicals in it, which means you crush this end, and you crush this end, and you mix them all together. Now the bottom of this bowl is scratched because I have uh, given it a lot of use, so therefore, as uh, Lead Mama claims, um, if there is any lead beneath the surface, it should certainly show up. Definitely got plenty of this chemical in there, and it is also definitely not turning red. It's unmistakable, in fact, that it is not red. Just to be absolutely certain, let's move this out of the way. <laughs> Here is the lead card, which, as you can see, turns red immediately. So therefore, based on this test, the inside of this bowl does not show up with lead on the uh, lead test. Now for the second test, where we will do the outside. And after vigorously applying it here, hmm, you know what? I have to say she's right. Hmm. The outside of this Pyrex bowl really does have a serious lead residue. It's very interesting. Hmm. A little bit scary too. Because this probably means I can never use these Pyrex bowls in cooking. What about the inside? The inside did not test for lead. Well, there is a dilemma, isn't it? Seems as though, fortunately, 
I did not get any lead contamination from using this bowl. But is the outs is it really safe based on this result? Hmm. Now, this is definitely a matter of concern. Based on the test, at least I didn't ingest lead with cooking from these bowls, though I don't feel safe enough to ever use these again in my cooking. I'm not a fan of having only display pieces in my kitchen, so like it or not, I'll have to get rid of these dishes, maybe by bringing them to an antique mall. On the other hand, this doesn't change my position that modern day cast iron is safe for cooking because even lead safe mama wasn't able to detect lead in cast iron. And so, as they say, the show must go on. Thank you for watching. Notice I'm still holding this bowl in my hands because even though it's safe enough to touch, I certainly wouldn't want to eat off of it.